I mean, where would a maid get that necklace? I thought maybe... I'll fast forward through this and you just point her out if you see her. Oh, oh wait, could you, could you just go back on that bed? Um, let's just, can we just go forward? Wait! That's my Dolce coat! How could you have missed that? I'm sorry, sir. Okay, well, I'll make sure maintenance gets up there with a plunger. And I'll call the pharmacy to see if they have something for that. Excuse me, sir. Mr. Baxter wants to see both of you in the park suite. Maria. I thought it would be impolite to correct you. Oh, and I suppose you think it's polite to steal people's clothes. I didn't steal. Miss Ventura, Mr. Baxter has spent the last 30 minutes trying to persuade Miss Lane not to press formal charges. I suggest you say as little as possible. We have it all on video. Was everything returned? Yes. Oh, Chris, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt your busy morning, but we thought you should know what was going on as soon as possible. What is going on? The woman you thought was a guest on this floor is the maid on this floor. Aren't you, Marissa? Oh, wait, wait. Her name is Caroline. No, Chris, darling, that's my name. She steals clothes, identities. What, what the hell's happening here? <laughs> why, why are you dressed that way? Caroline? Yeah, it is. Jesus Christ. The press is gonna have a field day with this one. There's no reason to involve the press. Yes. And how are you going to prevent her from speaking? This would never happen at the Four Seasons. And I can assure you it has never happened here before either. Lionel, you are slipping. You should have noticed something. I am disappointed. Please, Mr. Baxter, me and nothing to do with it. Of course, sir. I understand. We'll talk about this later. Miss Ventura, you no longer work here. Please go to security, hand in your passes and your ID, and you'll be escorted from the building. Is that really necessary? Chris, let the man do his job, okay? Uh, oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. I can't help but feel that this is partly my fault. It isn't. Spare yourself. Well, at least let me buy you lunch. After all, we've only got each other to get through this humiliation. Uh, Caroline, the first lunch was a mistake. The second would be complete torture. Drinks, then? 